Greetings, humanoids! As you may or may not be aware if you've watched my content for any period of time, I am what some might consider to be culinarily impaired. What would you do if there was a 23-year-old right in front of you, sitting all alone? crying in pain from hunger. I know how to rinse my rice before I let the rice cooker do the rest of the work and my instant ramen will have you saying, mmm, that sure is edible, but that's pretty much it. Now what is it? Yeah, so this is um, shredded cheese. I put it on a plate and I put it in the microwave. I call it little crispies. Ah. Right in my rejection sensitivity. But I'm putting my kitchen misadventures behind me because today is the day I learn how to cook. And what better place to learn than TikTok? Everybody's so creative. Now it's time to hand it over to Chef Callie. Good luck out there, Chef. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome, Chef. And, uh, by the way, you look, uh, really good today, Chef. Thank, thank you, Chef. I mean it. Um, you have very beautiful eyes, Chef. Chef? All of our pasta inside a blender. Oh, come on now. My fellow Caucasians astound us with their ingenuity yet again. This is just an evil, evil thing to do with pasta. Let's break it up a little bit. Make sure it all fits in there. A little off the top, mayhaps. Oh, uh, no. He's eating the spaghetti. No spaghetti for you, sir. This is probably, this probably makes it to top 10 most concerning things I've done on a Tuesday afternoon. We're gonna turn it on. I think we are ground up enough. Oh, that is not what mine looks like at all. Uh-oh. What? Cool. Release me. <laughs> Release. Aha. Uh -huh. Rotation. You still with this class? Okay. Dump this out on our table. Parchment paper. I could be doing any number of things with my life, but I've, I've, sh I've chosen to share this moment with you. Don't you feel so special? All right, so somewhere out there, uh, somebody's uncle with mob connections just sat bolt upright in bed. We're making fresh pasta out of pasta. I don't, okay. This feels very forbidden. We're gonna take an egg. Got it. And we're just gonna crack that right in the middle. Ah, shit. I'm just gonna start incorporating it all together, so I'm gonna go in with my hands. I cannot even begin to convey the discomfort I am experiencing. Oh, man. Yes, this is something that I definitely enjoy. You know what? We should put this in a bowl. Everything's okay. Ain't that delicious. We've just started, and my kitchen already looks, uh, um, like a, yep. Super funny. I'm gonna insert a joke there. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't y'all love to watch my little hand squirming around in this in this ball? Uh, Look at that perfect wow. dough ball. Look at that. Okay, that's kind of working. This 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 represents my emotions. Press it down like that, and then start to roll it out. Washing my hands. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because there's no way in hell this is gonna work unless I do. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get some flour. Now it's time to muscle your culinary monstrosity into submission. We are making today fettuccine. Nope. No, we're not. I don't know what this is, but it ain't fettuccine. It's not like that. The really fine spaghetti. Anymore. Yeah, look at that. Look at the we difference. went. We went from this to this. Wow. You know, I really, I really appreciate the insightful commentary from the cameraman. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. Ooh. Wow. A fresh. I truly feel like what we've done today could potentially have a net negative impact on the course of humanity. There is a cat hair. 
in the pasta! Okay, now I have my boiled water. I'm just gonna throw some salt in there. We're gonna gently place our pasta noodles right into our boiled water. Wow. I'm okay. I did also have some oil inside my water, which will prevent the noodles from sticking together. Boil that bitch. There's no way this is going to survive the boiling process. It's like sending your kid off to class with a bad haircut. You just, you know he's not gonna make it. You know it's gonna be a bad time. I have no faith in you. Come friends, let's go on a little journey. What the hell are we doing? Ugh, the water, it boils. Fascinating. Now I've tried to prepare some of our little yellow boys for the journey, but I don't think they're gonna make it. Some of you will die, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Here blows it. I just scalded myself. That was uncomfortable. And we'll let those cook up for like seven minutes. Seven minutes for the yellow boys. <laughs> My children, do you yet survive? Look, what am I doing? No flipping way. They stayed in one piece? Now strain the pasta, just like you strain every relationship you've ever had because of your constant need for reassurance. What have I done? What have we done? I mean, that can't have hurt the flavor, honestly. It might have, in fact, improved it. God damn me and my lack of self-respect. <laughs> and, now, and now all we have to do is get the sauce. Excellent. That will not help. All right, it is done. Look how good it looks. This is what we're working with. To be clear, I would not feed this to a dog, but thankfully for you all, this esophagus is rated E for everything. Tell me why this is actually edible. I've got the palate of a garbage disposal, and I recognize that about myself. But honestly, this is not that bad. On a scale from one to 10, I give this a solid three for I can shove this down my throat without throwing up. Well done. <laughs> cool transition. Place our ramen noodle into the dish. And the last one here. Ah, man, first the Italians and now this. Is there no country that is safe? I feel like the Geneva Convention could have maybe snuck in something that would have prevented this before they broke for lunch, you know? Let's, Let's get, get creative. creative. Let's start off with a little bit of matzo. And now we put in the flavor. Be careful, children. That's a lot of sodium. We're gonna take our tomato sauce. Pour this all the way around the edges. I, I just refuse to believe that. What are you doing? I raised you to be better than this. I like a lot of pepperoni on mine, so I'm just gonna put that all the way across. A four, a five, a six, a seven. To top it off here, we're just gonna go back in with the mozzarella. Of course it's gonna taste good. It's like 95% cheese. Bless me. Let's put them in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Ha ha! Yes. Let's get out a whole slice like you would a pizza. Okay, actually looks like it mostly cooked. Somebody cooked here. It was me. Would you be angry at me if I said that I, I rather liked this? Damn it. <laughs> Granted, there is enough cheese in this to permanently block my colon, which is probably why it tastes so good, but I'm gonna give that a solid six, as in I would be confused and disturbed if served this at a party, but I'd, uh, I'd give it a try. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. <laughs> Next recipe. Hey. This is just regular, okay. Why did he say it like that? This is just regular, okay? Sounds like he wants to stuff the manicotti with his own Oscar Myers, if you know what I'm saying. Aren't I a lucky little boy? Only 40% of these are broken. Thanks, Walmart. Insert joke here. Or insert something else if you like. And you're just gonna cut it right onto oh, wow. the top. Look at that, that looks really nice. Okay, great. A whole block? No, no! Imagine this all going in my, 
in my petite little body. You see, this is one of those situations where we realized we could, but didn't stop to consider whether we should. This is some white trash activities. I'm sorry, what the hell is this? This is lawn chairs in the living room activity. You take milk, shake it. <laughs> the pasta's gonna cook. Oh yeah. His voice is grosser than what we're doing, somehow. Pop that right in the oven. For how long? It's, it looks really For how long? And with just four simple ingredients, you too can make a meal for your family that defies the laws of both God and man. I'm gonna put this in for the same amount of time in the same heat as the previous recipe because I don't know what else to do. The pasta's nice and soft. The hot dogs are perfectly cooked inside. Wow, look, look at, at this. What the hell? is this. Hot dear, did you get enough milk on your hot dog, dear? Make sure you get that milk on there. Mm -hmm. I'm calling myself. The noodles are really chewy and um, the cheese is burnt. It's so much cheese, man. And then there's just like the sloppy milk on the bottom. Sloppy milk. Ugh. I'd have to give this like a, a four. A four? I could see myself eating this in middle school without complaint. Middle school was tough. You know that shit's busting when the pasta is crunching. Hey, chef. Yes, chef. Who is my union representative, chef? Uh, is this a is this a complaint that I'm hearing? Spitters or quitters, chef? I want to unionize. It's just you and me, chef. Uh, so who's gonna union with you? Your mom. You are a puppet, and I hold the string, chef. Throw it back, chef. Yes, chef. I've lost all ambition. Yum. I was raised to uh, be a good Christian boy, but it is times like these where I am reminded if there is a God, he has abandoned us for celestial milk and cigarettes. I did it. Yummy mixture. You can see how they're getting on the side. <gasps> Ooh. Uh... I have begun to suspect I may not be the target audience of these videos. Mmm, mmm, doesn't that look good? Isn't this a wonderful idea? How about, how, how, have you guys considered that maybe this might be taking a toll on my mental health, hmm? I think that's enough. What the f even? I'm sorry, I shouldn't swear. <gasps> Wow. My question is, is the cockroach infestation required or optional? Mmm, delicious. I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm at peace with my decisions. Oh, that's okay. great. Mmm, yummy. Yep, that looks about right. Uh that looks like something that would leak out of an infected wound. This looks like porridge was spilled on the floor of a gym locker room and left to ferment for 40 days and 40 nights. Apparently the logic is that we are trying to make a shepherd's pie, so we have reduced the Pringles to their base elements. Trying to boil Pringles to make mashed potatoes is like trying to send her flowers after she's already taken the kids. Oh, that's great. Very yummy. Vegetable soup. Oh my god, that looks so good. I was not able to find whatever the hell they had, so we're gonna make do. Oh, this is mostly liquid. Oops. Ta-da. Yum, yum, yum. Not yum. Stop saying yum. It, it, it ain't yum. Yum. You I gotta know. have, like, cheese with your pies, right? Because yeah. otherwise it's just not savory. I am preparing myself for the war crimes that are going to happen in my intestines when I eat this. God saves his hardest battles for his funniest clowns. This doesn't go bad until 2025. This should not be inside my body. Whee! Mm -mm -mm, yummy! 
I'm going to have a new hole by the time this comes out of me. So it's just a little, just to make sure that we get that cheesy flavor, right? We don't need to overpower. Yeah, because we wouldn't want to tip the scales on the delicately balanced flavor profile of this, now would we? How do you come up with these recipes? You know, I just think about all my favorite things and think about how I can put them together in a yummy combo. Gee, thank you, Lucy, for allowing us to quickly peek behind the curtain of your creative genius. And then of course, the healthiest part, basil. basil. Last time I had a checkup, I scored really well. My doctor says I have high cholesterol. Okay, so it's been set at 350 for 20 minutes. Ooh, so quick. So, um, Well, I'll let you figure that out for yourself, Scooby-Doo. I could be playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now. Are you seeing this shit? Yeah, okay, we'll just get a little bit of everything in there. Oh, God. This gets like a negative seven. This is disgusting. Um, yep, mm, that's gonna be a no for me. Mm, I think if you were to bring this dish to a family gathering, the punishment should be death. Hey chef, how are you doing chef? Ah, uh, not good, not, not good chef, not good. Remember, your suffering is content chef. You're my little content cow and I'm gonna milk you dry chef. Jesus Christ chef. Eat your Pringles mush and moo for me chef. Yeah, nope, I'm out, I'm out. We're done, we're done. Don't you dare walk out on me chef. You're nothing without me. You're finished, you hear? You're finished! Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you're like me and you feel insecure about your cooking skills, hopefully this helped you realize that nothing you make could possibly be as disgusting as the concoctions we just witnessed. And if you watch this video and you're a little bit worried about food waste, first off, ew, pretentious much, go hug a tree or something, but just know that everything we've made was judged by a panel of local no. wildlife and what they refused to eat, I stored in my refrigerator and gnawed on over the next few days. Bye.